Hey guys, it's Grace and I have not filmed like any kind of video that sit down talking to you guys in a really long time. I apologize for that, but today I am coming back at you with an awesome video, hopefully. Um, I'm going to do an updated skincare routine. So I had a company reach out to me and uh, ask me if I wanted to uh, receive their spin brush set. So I'm going to be including them in my skincare routine today. The company's name is Duvol and they have a 70% off code for you guys, which is LIFE in all caps. I'll put it right here on the screen, but I will have a lot of information in the uh, down bar and you can click on all those links and use that code, but they are incredible and I really like their product, but I will get into that more when I jump into this. Okay, so how this video is going to work, I'm going to talk you guys through what I would do for my skincare routine for morning and night. And as I do that, you will see some video clips of me doing my skincare routine. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the products and we can jump right in. Usually what I start with in the morning is uh, the spin brush. Um, this is a great system. It's the Radiance Spin Care System, and it comes with four brushes. Uh, it comes with a face exfoliating brush, which is this little one right here. It comes with a body brush. It comes with a um, facial cleansing brush and then it comes with a pumice stone which is actually this one I lied uh, but right now I just have the facial cleansing brush on it and that's mostly what I've been using because I tend to like use this every single day so I don't want something super harsh on my skin but I do want something that's going to cleanse my skin of makeup or anything that's gotten on it in the day so what I like to use is I use this soap that I have just in this container. This is actually the Rose Dr. Bronner's Everything Soap. So you can use it on your body. I choose to use it only on my face. This has worked really, really well. And I just take this and I rub it all for this, you know, and then I massage it into my face with a little bit of water for probably like a couple minutes and it has worked so so well it is water resistant so i am able to use it in the shower if i wanted to um i haven't chosen to do that but uh i could and i really like this product something that you may notice when you start using this is that at first you may have a lot of breakouts coming to the surface um, but I find that it's really good for like making those breakout surface and happen and then it completely like clears your skin like my skin I had a lot of breakouts like in my chin area and in my forehead and I still do a little bit but they're a lot a lot better I've been using this product for about two weeks now and now my skin is looking really great so yeah, that's this product. It takes uh, two AA batteries and that is how it functions. Uh, then what I do in the mornings is I usually take some tea tree essential oil. I got mine from Thrive Market, another great website. And then this is some rosehip oil that I just picked up from like TJ Maxx. And this is my moisturizer. So that's all I do to my skin in the morning is just wash it with that and then use this on it. I used to use coconut oil, but I found that actually coconut oil is really bad for your skin and breaking out. Um, so it's much better to use as like a body moisturizer versus like a facial moisturizer. I can't remember the exact term that they use to describe it, but it's like not great for your skin. Um, so that is why I now use rosehip oil. But I throw that on my face and then I'm ready to apply makeup or not apply makeup. Uh, that's also something that has changed in my skincare routine. I have stopped wearing makeup as much just because I just don't feel like wearing makeup as much anymore. And usually if I do wear makeup, it's like mascara and that's about it. So that has also definitely helped to change my skin. And then moving on to 
nighttime skincare routine so I do something very similar to what I did in the morning I take this soap once again and the spin brush and before or after I take a shower it really depends on what I'm feeling um, I will use this on my face but first if I have applied any makeup I got this product and this is an incredible product it's so genius I don't know why someone else hasn't thought of this yet but uh, I had a friend over the summer who had one of these and she let me use it and I was like this is magical this shouldn't work but it does somehow so this is called an erase your face and this is a microfiber towel and all you have to do is wet it and it will take all of your makeup off it's incredible I bought them for myself and all my friends and it's dirty but like you can clean it really well if you want to but it just it's incredible and it takes off makeup so so well so I would use this first if I was wearing makeup and then what I would do is go in with my soap in the spin brush same way that I did in the morning um, and then if I want some more like exfoliation clay mask like facial mask stuff I use the Indian healing clay um, it's a hundred percent natural calcium bentonite clay and I got this from Amazon a while ago it's lasted me a really long time uh, I think this I don't know how many ounces this one specifically is but it's pretty big it's a big boy and you basically just mix this you usually only need like one like spoonful of this and then you mix it with apple cider vinegar and so that is incredible it makes your skin like really red for probably like 30 minutes after you take it off um but it feels so good on your skin and it's definitely saved my skin one thing that i would say about this is that you have to be careful it says on the directions that you can use water or apple cider vinegar but the problem with using water is that it won't have the same chemical reaction that it does when you use apple cider vinegar and so it can sometimes damage your skin more than it will help your skin so i would just advise using apple cider vinegar because of the acidity level and all that kind of stuff um and don't use a metal bowl or a metal spoon use like bamboo or plastic as much as i hate plastic but it can also damage that so that's the only weird thing about this but i probably use this maybe twice to three times a month I would say I don't use it that often and then after that whether I have put a mask on or not I will finish the night off with my rosehip oil once again um, I only do tea tree in the morning I don't know why I just don't really want to put it on my face twice in one day I feel like it's better to just you know do it once let it sit there all day do its thing and then wash it off um, afterwards but I still use this bad boy and yeah I just moisturize and then I am done so that is my updated skincare routine it's very simple there's not a lot of products most of it is like not super wasteful or in plastic stuff I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more also please check out all of the awesome stuff in the description about Duvol. They have so many awesome deals for you guys. They're an incredible company. They have great products. So please, please, please go check them out. See if there's anything that you need or might want. Yes. Um, and yeah. So if you want like to check out my previous video, you can click on this side of the screen. And my previous vlog is on that side of the screen. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you soon in my next video where I show you this lovely room that you're only getting a little bit of a sneak peek of. Alright, bye!